Hello, my name's Gary with HaveFunWithScience.com and today's demonstration is on Newton's first law, that is inertia. I have in front of me two eggs. One's hard boiled, the other one is fresh out of the carton. Now, I'm going to try to spin both of them and I want you to guess which one is the hard boiled one and which one is fresh out of the carton. Let's start with this egg first. Okay. Try it again. Try it this way. Okay, now let's try this egg. As you can see, there's a considerable difference in their performance. So which one do you think is the hard-boiled egg? And which one do you think is fresh out of the carton? If you pick this one as the hard-boiled egg, you are absolutely correct. This is a demonstration of Newton's first law of inertia which is an object, any object, in this case an egg, has a tendency to stay at rest or motionless until acted upon by another force. And then, once acted upon, it is a tendency of that object, in this case the egg, to stay in motion until acted upon by another force to make it stop. So let's get a close-up of what's actually happening here. This egg sitting here on the table is an example of inertia. Any object, in this case an egg, has a tendency to stay at rest until an outside force makes it move. In this case, me trying to make this egg spin like a top is the outside force. As you can see from this egg, it's not spinning very well. So you can tell that it's the fresh one out of the carton instead of the hard boiled one. Now, here's something very interesting. When I touch the egg, briefly, it still rotates. And that's because, although I stopped the shell, the yolk and the egg whites are still moving. I did not stop them. So, because they were still moving, the egg still rotates. The fact that the non-hard-boiled egg wants to continue to rotate, even though I stopped the eggshell, demonstrates the second half of inertia. An object has a tendency to stay in motion until an outside force makes it stop. Well, I stopped the eggshell, but the contents of the egg made the egg rotate because the insides were still in motion. And because the contents of the egg is liquid, my brief touch of the shell was not enough force to make the egg stop rotating. Think about that the next time you're in a vehicle and the driver has to stop suddenly. The car stops, but you move forward. And you move forward because you're traveling at the same speed the car was. That's why safety belts and airbags are a good idea. Without them, you could fly through the windshield.
Now let's switch to the hard-boiled egg. It almost spins like a top. However, when I touch it, something interesting happens. It no longer spins. It'll rock back and forth due to the curvature of the egg, but it's not going to spin. And it's because the contents inside the egg are solid. The egg whites and the yolk are hard. And since the egg stopped rotating when I touched the egg shell, the second half of the meaning of inertia applies. An object, in this case an egg, has a tendency to stay in motion until affected by an outside force. In this case, the outside force would be my hands touching the shell. And since the contents of the egg were solid, it stopped rotating immediately, showing that the quick hand touch on the shell of a hard-boiled egg was sufficient force to stop it from rotating.